Hey, it's Sana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on this channel. And this series is talking about all things business, marketing and social media. And what else? I don't know why my mind just went so blank right then. <laughs> Anyway, so for this video I want to talk about something that I literally have struggled with my entire life and I feel like so many creatives struggle with this, especially if you're quite introverted and you like to be by yourself, like me, you will probably have experienced self-doubt and holding back and struggling with how to just go for it, how to just do what you really want to do and this is something that I literally held myself back on for so so long and didn't just go for it when I really should have done so I want to share my tips and advice on how to just stop holding yourself back and get out of your way and one thing that really really worked for me especially now whenever I doubt myself or like hesitate especially with these videos, because even filming these videos can make you kind of doubt yourself a little bit. When it comes to like putting yourself out there in front of other people, it's terrifying. And I don't know, I feel like the main thing that I think about now is that there's just no other option. There's nothing else that I would ever, ever do but this. Even though it's scary, even though it could go wrong, even though I could fail, even though I could end up changing path and going in a completely different direction, right now in this moment there is just nothing else that is acceptable enough or good enough for me to want to do or want to put my time in or feel good doing it, you know, like obviously there's a million things that we could do but there's nothing that I would choose to where I know I would feel good doing it, you know, like there's just no other goddamn option. And I think when you come to that realization of like, what else will make me happy? Like, what else could I do then? If I'm not gonna do this thing that I really wanna do, what else can I do that's gonna make me happy? And I think when you come to the realization that there isn't anything else, there's nothing else that's gonna feel as good as doing that thing that you want to do and when you reach that realization it's like oh okay so I either do it and just go for it and take that risk which is a terrifying risk or I don't do it and I know that I'm never going to be as happy as if I did it and succeeded you know like I'll just have to accept that okay then I'm not going to do it I'm going to go do something else but I know for a fact that I won't be as happy but I'll just have to accept that because this is the choice that I'm making, you know? So like, there's nobody that's gonna force you to do either one, like nobody can force you to do either option, but you have to look at them and decide which one you can live with. Like, can you live with settling? Can you live with never trying, never knowing, never seeing whether you can do it or not? Like, you know, because we haven't even tried. We're literally scared of something that we've not even tried, not even stepped forwards to do. We're hesitating before we've even taken that step. You know, you like feel like you're not good enough to even take that first step. And, oh, man, this thing just makes me so frustrated because it's something that I do all the time. And, I just realized how silly it is because you haven't even taken the step. So what are you doubting yourself for? Like doubt yourself after you've taken the step, like after you step forward, if you then feel like you haven't done it good enough, then doubt yourself. But before you've even done it, how can you doubt yourself, you know? <laughs> We're literally holding back before we've even taken the leap. So how are you gonna know whether you can be successful or whether you can do this thing amazingly if you don't try if you don't take that risk you know and we tend to just stand in our own way because we're fearing all of these possible outcomes all of these like okay what if people say this what if people look at me this way what if I humiliate myself what if I do it wrong and I fail and I have to move back home what if my parents don't agree what if what if what if what if you know it's all these like potentials that haven't happened yet it's not something that's actually here in the present it's a thought in your mind it's a visualization but you could be visualizing 
the potential of it actually being incredible you know because energy has power thoughts have power and if you're constantly visualizing it going wrong it's gonna go wrong because that's what you're putting your energy into that's what you're feeding but if you were to take that energy that powerful intent and focus that you have in your mind and you put it onto all of the possibilities that are positive all the possibilities that you really want you can bring that into reality but because we get caught up in these thought cycles that are so fear-based and so negative, we literally block any of the positive thoughts. Like you've literally blocked all those positive potentials of outcomes that you really want. They're not even coming into your mind because you're so busy feeding all of these negative ones that you don't even want, you know? So, and even though these negative ones are um, valid like they could become real they are a possibility so they could happen like your emotions towards them is valid because that's a real thing and a real fear and a real emotion so it's not to like beat yourself up for it or to dim dismiss it or punish yourself for it but it's just to realize your power and realize what you're feeding realize what you're putting your focus and your energy into so that you can then take control of that and start to change it you know you have to decide for yourself this is your life this is your choice your options and your possibilities of how your life can unfold you know and it's not happening against you it's happening because of you so you need to take back your power and your control and decide what you want decide what you can live with what you're willing to do and to accept and to tolerate whether that's you don't pursue it or you do pursue it, but you're the only one that's got to live with that decision. Nobody else has to live with that, you know? So you have to decide what's best for you and just get out of your own goddamn way. And trust me, once you do take that first step and you get out of your way and you see that it wasn't as scary as what you thought because the possibility that comes is not as bad as all of the other ones that you kept fearing, once you take that step, the fear gets less scary because you now know a little more, you know, like you're fearing the unknown. So once you take that first step, it's no longer unknown because you've done it. So now that fear gets a little bit less intense, like a less, less of a grip on you. And then you take another step and it gets less. And then you take another step and it just keeps on going, you know, and then before you know it, you're like doing way more than you ever dreamed you could do. And your goals are moving with it because you're getting better as you go, you know? So you just have to get out of your own way first and then watch your whole life transform. And I am speaking from experience with that because a few years ago, I had no clue what I was gonna do or how I was gonna get to where I want to be. And now my vision for it is just so, so clear. I know exactly what I want. I know exactly where I'm going and there's no other option. There's no plan B. There's no like nothing. <laughs> None of these other things are an option. They're not having my focus because I'm focused on where I wanna go, where I'm headed. That's where I'm going you know <laughs> so you need to make that choice you need to decide and stop like putting one foot in and one foot out decide what you want decide whether you can live without that thing and then go for it so yes I hope this video was helpful and I do have more videos on fear, on self-doubt, on unworthiness, so many more videos on that because I do have other series on this channel as well where we talk about the mental health, spirituality, metaphysics and so much more. So if you want to check those out, they are also on my YouTube and yes, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Also the description box below, I have all links to my music, my social media, my phone number because I now send daily motivational inspirational texts and whatsapps on my phone so all of that info will be in the description box below I swear there's such a long list that I have to list off at the end of every video and I end up forgetting what I need to say but yeah everything will be in the description box below if you want more information about me and ways to find me on social media so yeah I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching Bye. Oh, yeah, I think he like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in that white tea. Oh, yeah, I think he like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in that white tea. Oh, yeah, I think he might. I'm the thing he like me, my range all white. Oh, yeah, I think he might. I'm the thing he like me, my range all white.